Uh, so this Golan course uh, I'll do here again. All right, so today we're gonna learn more about um, the file IO and also HTTP server. All right, so uh, let's try and create a small app. Okay, uh, this app, unfortunately we cannot use um, uh, Golang Play, so you need to use like some ID like uh, Golang or VS Code, you know, or something like that. Uh, all right, so right now for me, I'm gonna be working on uh, Golang, okay? And you can uh, try and practice with me at the same time. Uh, all right. Uh, right now, uh, first thing actually, we, you, wait, let's delete uh, this file, okay? Hold on. Okay, uh, and we can create, you can see here, you can create a new file. Okay, go file and you can call it main or anything. Okay, let's say test, okay? In here, like the package, say the package main, okay, and then we need to import. Uh, let's say um, we need OS, okay, to create the file, and we need um, FMT to print, and we need log, uh, like to log our errors, okay, and we need um, IO. Uh, IO uh, util, okay? Uh, this is like so we can read uh, files, okay? All right, so we're gonna go here and then say function and then say main. And we're gonna go here, uh, hold on. Okay. Uh, all right, great. All right, now we can say file, okay, or error. Okay, then we can use the shorthand equal, we can use OS and then say create, like to create our file. And then we can define here the file name, let's say file.txt, okay? So what we see here is that, you know, we wanted to create a file for us, okay? Or return us the error because there's always a chance this might not create and if we didn't say like, or give us an error, then if let's say something happened, uh, the file wasn't created for some reason. It's not gonna tell us why. So you're just gonna like keep wondering. So then we're gonna say here if error again doesn't equal uh, nil. Hold on. Then we want it to log what the error is. Okay, fatal. Uh, and then we want to log the error. Okay, see. Uh, and then we're gonna come here. Hold on. Let's see more this one. Uh, okay, we're gonna say here and say file and do write uh, write string and here what we want what we want to write inside the file uh, let's say uh, hello there and then new line and then uh, how are you doing you know like just like this this is enough. Okay, and right now we need to close the file. We say file close. Okay. Uh, right now let's create a variable or let's use shorthand. Let's say my data. And this again shorthand. Um, okay, no, no, wait. Because again we need the error, okay, in case something happened and it couldn't open the file, let's say my data or error. And then shorthand and then equal, uh, we need to use IO uh, util and then dot read file. Um, and the file name is file.txt. Okay. And here we need to use again F uh, like for the error. Okay, uh, if error doesn't equal nil again, just to go ahead and uh, again log the error for us, okay? And error fatal. Okay, great. Right now, um, we can go down here and create another. Uh, like a variable, okay, to read uh, the data. Let's say read data. Or let's say read my data. 
okay and then we can use again shorthand and say string okay in my data okay right now we said read the string inside my data which is hello uh hello there how are you doing okay because we said write string okay so we wanted to read for example let's say if something inside the file okay something else is gonna read only like the let's say um uh, if uh, what we put here is an integer okay and here we put like a string it's not gonna return anything because it's gonna say there is no string inside so we put here a string we're gonna say read a string for us um okay uh, right now let's go here and say format print line and we're gonna say read my data okay um Let's go ahead and run our app right now. Ah, see, it says, hello there, how are you doing? And you can see here, it's created the file for us, file.txt. When we open the file, you can see here, it's printed, hello there, and how are you doing? You can see here, it left the space. Like, if you, like, um, uh, we can resolve that just by going back and removing the space. You see, this is not going to create any problem for us. Okay, you can see here, it's also left the space here. So we can also just like do just like this. See, it's not going to create any problems because it's already know that it's n because I use this C like backward slash, not this slash. Okay, and then we uh, we run C says hello there, how are you doing without any spaces? If we go back here, see there is no space right now anymore. Um, okay, great. You see, it's very simple and easy. See, we used always to create the file. Okay, and we see here, like, either create the file for us or give us the error, okay? If the error doesn't equal nil, it means there is an error, okay? Then log the error for us, okay? Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on. Let's try and change this one so it's going to give us the error, let's say, OXE. And then let's run the app. See, it says here, like, there is no such file. Okay, and it's like the error for us. Uh, all right, then we can just go ahead here and read back the text. And then it's gonna read the file for us again. Um, <clears throat> okay, we can also uh, make HTTP servers, okay? Uh, all right, first let's remove um, everything here, okay? Everything. Okay. <clears throat> and ignore the libraries, right now only we need to import two libraries only, uh, FMT and uh, net HTTP, okay? It's usually like, uh, it's gonna remove them again right now because this cool and this is so damn stupid. Okay, <coughs> uh, let's say um, HTTP, it's gonna like import it like by itself again. Uh, I mean, it's good, but just because I'm trying to explain, so uh, okay, handle uh, function, and here let's say the uh, the link or the URL. Let's say uh, slash, just like the home page. And this home page, we're gonna call it my route one. Okay, let's call it my route one. Let's create another one and just call this one <coughs> my route two. And say here about. Okay. Uh, and here, right now, let's say where we want it to, um, where we want it like to uh, to open the server for us, okay? Let's say which port, which, uh, okay, let's say HTTP, okay, and then we say listen and serve. Uh, okay, listen and serve, and then we say, let's say just like, you know, 8080, like without uh, anything else. And then here we can say nil. Okay. Uh, all right. So right now we need to go ahead and create these functions. Um, okay. The first function, let's say func, and then say, hold on, my route. Okay. And then we say, remember, uh, we used uh, last time W, okay, uh, like as uh, our writer, okay, like HTTP dot response, response for writer. We can also use like this, like writer. C or just W and then we can use R like or we can use 
request hold on or no no or request like this and then we're gonna say um, we need to use a pointer and then say HTTP hold on we need to use HTTP uh, dot request okay like this here we can use R like I said before see R or request anything you like okay if you want to like see I mean this one is route one it's not the route okay so this one is uh, when you send the request okay this one is when it's gonna return you like let's say uh, what you wrote here well wait well we're gonna decide like what it's gonna return you like what's gonna write um, okay so what should we write let's say just print something and then say if print if print f and say um, well first we need to use w again or writer because we used writer there so we're gonna use writer and then uh, let's say hello there okay let's copy the same thing <coughs> And here router two, and then say um, what should we say there? Like I say, are you new here? Just like this. Uh, hold on, hold on a second. Um, uh, la, 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 la. No, no. Uh, where is the soft? I actually don't use Golang a lot. Mm, yeah, I think it's in the um, it's in the settings. Hold on. Hell, yeah, this. Um, uh, hold on. I think it's here. No, or maybe it's in the editor. Uh, yeah. Okay, this one. And then here we can just do like this. Okay. Uh, so it's gonna wrap the lines for us. So we don't have like to keep going like uh, to the sides. Uh, all right. Yeah, okay, that's it. Let's see if it's gonna give us like any errors. Let's run the app. It's compiling. Uh, let's wait a second. Ah, okay, it's running. Let's go to, let's use Firefox. Okay, let's say uh, localhost, just like this. Hold on, not, not HTTP, just HTTP. Why the hell is it? Um, no, it's 88. Okay, uh, great. You see, it says hello there. If we go here and say about, see, it's gonna say, Hi, are you new uh, here? Okay, if we let's say remove this one and say, you know, about zero or whatever, it's gonna, it's like it's, it's returning us back to the home page. Okay, so about and hello there. So you see, it's uh, it's actually it's very simple. You know, you can just apply the same method. You know, and you can um, uh, like do like this to uh, other uh, like to create more links or you know uh, anything you want to do. You see, it's uh, very simple. And I hope like uh, really you understood what I'm uh, uh, what I'm trying to explain here. Uh, all right, so that's it, uh, guys. That's for today. I'm trying to make this lesson short. Uh, if you have any questions, again, uh, leave your question in the Q&A uh, and I'll make sure to answer uh, when I can. Uh, all right, see you in the next lesson.